testing, testing, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever wherever you may be. This is Mike from www.someonesbones.com bringing you the latest and greatest Nibiru news and information on the internet. Hot off the press. A few things before I get going with today's story. Admittedly, I am relatively new to the YouTube community, community. Although I have been researching the Planet X topic pretty and pretty much writing about it on the web exclusively for the last year. Nibiru, a.k.a. Planet X, is something that caught my attention way back in 2003. And I have followed, followed it often and thought about it. And I have realized that this is, is an important topic that a lot of people are concerned about. And this is the driving factor that has compelled me to write about this and try and get information about it and provide that to the public for their consumption. Now, one thing I want to talk about is I have gotten some concerns about people who have said that my videos go black after a minute or two. That is my bad. I was not familiar with the YouTube etiquette. From now on, I will make sure I have some kind of image in the field of view so that you are not looking at blank space for the entire black space for the entire time. My apology. Thank you for letting me know. Next, I understand a lot of information I present is controversial. It differs from established Nibiru Planet X information. Now, I will never knock in any way any other information that people present about Planet X. You know, everybody who covers this topic plays a valuable part in getting to the, getting to the truth. I have chosen my own way. Other people have chosen their own ways. I prefer to, to present articles that I have written and sourced rather than show pictures of lens flares or Google Sky or Solarium or pictures of mysterious objects scrolling across my computer screen because I find them d dubious and inconclusive. That's not to say that other people should not do that. Every piece of the puzzle here fits, to get, fits together in some mysterious way. Now, I am not an astronomer. I am not a scientist. I am a veteran reporter with over 30 years in the industry, industry who abandoned mainstream media to pursue alternative news coverage because I realized and understood that information has been covered up and that the public was not getting the truth that they deserve to know. And that is something that I wanted to change. There is no profit in this for me. I do not monetize my YouTube videos. I earn very little from the advertising on my website. I am not getting rich or even turning any kind of profit off this, despite claims to the contrary. I just want to get that out there. I have always been more than willing to be entirely transparent about what I make for the coverage that I provide. And I will always continue to do this because I understand that the mainstream media has an agenda to conceal the truth about Nibiru and many other topics from the public view. I present information that has been passed along to me by persons that I deem credible, sources that I have vetted to the best of my ability, and sources that I would protect no matter what. Whether people love me or hate me or love the information I present or despise it, it does not matter to me. I will endeavor to provide the best and most timely information I can. 
I am always open to comments and criticism, but I will purge any comments that are personal, personal attacks or serve as a rallying cry for violence against anybody, me or anybody else. We are all in this community together, trying to weave a complicated mosaic, trying to piece together a 100,000 piece jigsaw puzzle. It is not easy for anyone. We are living in tough times. We all, most, we all have to keep an open mind if we are to eventually find out the truth. Whether my truth is 100% accurate, I don't know. People have asked me to back 110% every piece of information that I have written. I cannot do that. No news organization in the world would do that because people get it wrong from time to time. And there's nothing we can do about that. We are human. We strive to present the best possible information that we can as accurately as we can. And when we are wrong, we take the heat for it. I take the heat for it. Any other person out there that deals with this topic takes the heat for it. That is just the way it goes. On that note, I'm going to read the story we published early this morning. If you prefer not to hear my sinus-infected New York accent, you can visit www.someonesbones.com and read it for yourself. And yes, that is my annoying cat in the background. It only takes about three minutes or so. I will link supporting information in the description below. Thank you. Okay, and the headline reads, and please bear with me, Trump, Putin, Nibiru Alliance erodes. And I'm going to go ahead and recite the story now. On Saturday, President Donald J. Trump fielded a flurry of telephone calls from foreign leaders amidst rising tensions over his controversial policies. They spoke about his disregard for NATO and the executive order banning people born in certain countries, including green card holders or not. Of the 24 calls he made, none was more important than the Nibiru call, a one hour long encrypted conversation between President Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Okay, I'm going to let my cat out. He's bothering me, and then I'll be right back. Okay, and I am back, and I will now continue. Our Washington source, speaking to us under deep cover, gave alarming details surrounding the conversation between the world's two most powerful men. Donald Trump formally asked Putin to surrender the telescope. As reported previously, Trump is seeking to confirm a United States Special Operations Command report that the Nibiru system has stopped in space, stalled behind the dark side of the sun. Evidence for that has been found, along with the fossilized remains of famed Russian astronomer, Professor Dr. Mikhail Nikolovich Tukhachevsky at an abandoned Nibiru monitoring outpost on Kamalov Atoll, a Russian-controlled province in the Aleutian Islands. United States military personnel had seized the report. However, lacking a metric socket set, they had been unable to unbolt the telescope from its concrete base. Now, our source says, President Trump is desperate to recover the telescope and its data which provide the only available evidence substantiating Dr. Chukachevsky's SNT, Sierra November Tango, which stands for Stalled Nibiru Theory. Our source said the following, The conversation between Trump and Putin started friendly enough. These two men see each other as comrades in arms. They first discussed Syria. However, when Trump started up about the telescope, Putin hemmed and hawed. He would have been glad to bring Trump not just the telescope, 
but even the entire 50-ton KO, Kilo Oscar, Kamalop Observatory, personally, during an unscheduled trip to Washington early next month, except for one minor problem. The KO was empty. The telescope was gone. Trump apparently flew into a fit of rage. Our source says, in many ways, Trump sees the telescope as a last chance to salvage an already failing presidency. At one point, Trump lost it and blurted out at Putin, You're fired! Dr. Max Jacobson, the White House personal physician, quickly administered benzodiazepine to calm him down, as Putin explained that every track was being pursued to find the telescope. Evidence now points to Ukrainian involvement. Intelligence obtained via the 5th floor FSB Federal Service Bureau in Kiev directly implicates Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko in a last-minute attempt to sabotage the Trump-Putin Etande Cordial, apparently Tatar Ukrainian Marines with the support of dissident Turkish naval officers, had been, a, had been sent to seize the telescope before either Trump or Putin could get their hands on it. President Poroshenko had decided to take his country to the brink of a Bering Sea war just to blackmail President Trump into financing and training 12 Ukrainian divisions for his planned CROW, Crow, Crimea Recovery Operation hyphen White. If Trump agrees, the Putin Trump Accords would collapse, plunging the United States into a new hot war. Otherwise, the CROW dies, but Trump may never see the telescope and is unlikely to reveal Nibiru to the world. The dialogue from the Trump Putin phone call suggests that Trump has yet to hear from the Ukraine. However, it is entirely possible that Poroshenko, quite familiar with the Trump-Putin friendship, will have instead reached, reached out to more reasonable, level-headed people in the Washington regime. For example, Defense Secretary James Mad Dog Mattis. Regardless, these very intense developments are just another hitch delaying Nibiru disclosure, an event that millions of people worldwide have anticipated for over 30 years. End of story. Okay, and there we have it. One more piece of concrete, or at least speculative, proof that President Donald J. Trump is determined to eviscerate the Nibiru cover-up, and bring full disclosure to the world. I'm going to go ahead and link the two or three previous articles supporting this in the information below. And please take a look at it. Please read it. Please keep an open mind. That's all anybody can ask, regardless of anybody who looks at Nibiru information. It is, anything regarding Nibiru is controversial, generally dismissed by mainstream science, and has to be looked at with a very, very critical eye. Tomorrow, we will be broadcasting new information regarding Dr. Zakharovich's claims that a Nibiru fragment is currently hurtling toward Earth and will strike Earth in mid-February a story that has been picked up by the Drudge Report, The Sun, the Daily Mail, and several Australian dailies as well. And we're going to get that information out tomorrow as early as we possibly can. On that note, I'm as usual, I'm going to go ahead and sign out for the night. It's a Sunday night, and I hope everybody had a really good weekend. This is Mike from www dot someonesbones dot com, the internet's 
premier source for Nibiru news and information. Keep a clear mind, have clarity, be judgmental of information, be critical of information, evaluate everything for yourself. Um, as the great patriot William Cooper once said, read everything, listen to everything, believe nothing until you can research it and prove it for yourself. I'm paraphrasing, but that's pretty damn close. Have a great night. This is Mike signing out. Bye-bye.